So upon the reports that the reel is being canceled, I think this is probably one of the reasons why it's canceled because the show was about a show that's supposed to exemplify and represent diversity. It's missionary and visionary statement was about diversity. And if you guys haven't watched the show earlier on, you do remember back in 2015, they were accused of uh, discrimination. The Fox producers were accused of discrimination with two women that were of the Muslim religion. They were wearing hijabs. And so I want to get into that a scenario right there. So, hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Give your boy a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and let your friends, your family, your mommy, your daddy, whoever you are close to know about my channel. So The Real was hit with a discriminatory complaint back in 2015 when two hijabi women attended a taping of the show and they were told that they needed to be hidden away from the camera, allegedly, uh, by the people who worked in the Warner Brothers lot. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the L.A. branch of the Council on American Islamic Relations has filed a complaint against the daytime talk show, alleging that the two Muslim audience members wearing headscarves were asked to remain out of the camera's view. According to the complaint filed with the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, the alleged incident took place in February during a taping on the Warner Brothers lot. The women wearing hijabs were told as they entered the taping that the studio's policy prevented them from sitting in the front row. And so the woman complied, according to the advocacy group. Warner Brothers has no legal justification for removing the hijab wearing woman from the camera views, said Care LA attorney Fatma Dadaboy. No studio should maintain such a discriminatory policy that prohibits people wearing religious head co coverings from being seen in its studio audiences. Dadaboy added that it is baffling for a show that seemingly celebrates diversity to want to hide their visibly Muslim viewers. Now, seven days before it hit the news sources, CARE California had posted their discrimination complaint on their website. And it states that the Greater Los Angeles Area Office of the Council on American Islamic Relations today announced it has filed a public accommodation complaint with the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing against Warner Brothers Entertainment for a discriminatory policy that apparently caused the studio to ask two Muslim women wearing headscarves to move out of camera view during a show taping. In February, Four young women, two of whom wear Islamic headscarves, attended a taping of the real talk show at the Warner Brothers Studios in Los Angeles, California. While waiting to enter the taping, studio officials told the woman that the hijab wearing woman could not sit in the front row because they should not be seen on camera in accordance with studio policy. They complied with the request. Quote, Warner Brothers has no legal justification for removing the hijab wearing woman from the camera's view, said Kara L.A. senior civil rights attorney Fatma Dadaboy. No studio should maintain such a discriminatory policy that prohibits people wearing religious head coverings from being seen in its studio audiences. It's especially baffling that this particular show would want to hide their visibility, Muslim viewers, when a show purports to cater to a wide-ranging audience with its diverse cast. See the reel about the show, which states, one of the show hosts at the time, Tamara Mori, states on the show's website, the greatest thing about America is its diversity, and this show reflects that diversity. No matter who you are, there is someone at this table that will be speaking for you. Also, Care LA will continue to closely monitor the situation to bring about a resolution to end such discriminatory practices. Now, I did reach out to the attorney that was representing this case multiple times uh, last year, also three times today, and I left her a message. She did not respond. And so with that being said, I'm not really sure what the resolution was uh, for this case, but it was clear that their vision and missionary for this talk show, which uh, promoting diversity is 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 a fallacy. It's a fallacy according to this report, according to discriminatory complaint, and according to other things that happened during that talk show. And now it's 
cancellation ha has come into fruition, according to reports that are out there at the moment about the show being no more. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with your family, your friends, your social media pages. It really does help my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces. Yay.